This is a little review I'm going to do of a gun stock I just received. It's a McMillan 1022 Sporter for the, uh, this one's been cut, inleted for, for a kid 1022 action. It's, um, this is the marbleized version that is 60% um, green, OD green, 20% um, black, and 20% light tan. I had some customs, custom things done to it. You can see I have a flush mount cup here and a flush mount cup here. I hope these are in focus. Um, I also did on the bottom an on shoots rail. And then on the other side, I did flush mount cups as well. Um, the finish is pretty good on this. I've heard a lot of people complain about the finishes on them when they get them. Uh, there is some light scratching that I'll show in some pictures uh, wherever I post this, uh, which can be polished out. And this can certainly be made shinier. But to tell you the truth, it's got a good serviceable finish on it, I think. Um, they were pretty good at getting the mold marks out of the top. And um, so far, it's pretty well done. It's got a uh, limb saver uh, pad on it never done anything this big on a video here you can see the uh, so it's kinda hard to get this in frame here you can see the mounts for the uh, rail on shoots rail you can see where they um, put in a uh, escutcheon for the um, receiver mount and then they've inlet it for the uh, kit action and this is the rear hold down um, I talked to them about putting in the scutcheon there. I thought they were going to do that, but they didn't. You can see some checkering up here that's been molded into the front, and it's also got some checkering around where the uh, pistol grip is at. Um, the color combination is, to tell you the truth, exactly what I wanted. So I'm very happy with how that turned out, the marbling. It's a little rough here on the front. Not bad, but it's just, uh, you know, you could if you wanted to make this shiny. I don't know. I might leave it just like it is. If you wanted to make this really shiny, you could certainly polish it up. I reason why I'm doing this video is that I just haven't seen anybody uh, who had done one of these uh, McMillan stocks and done a video of it or anything. So... Maybe nobody's crazy enough to put one of these on the uh, on a little 1022 action. I had a, uh, I also had a uh, Blue Force gear. Purchased one of these guys for it, which is their uh, multicam padded Blue Force gear with uh, some quick releases. Which works pretty good, except there's not a limitation in the way these things swing, and I don't know if that's from the um, quick release or from the cups. I got the cups that were supplied by McMillan, but maybe I need to get some of these. Maybe the I don't rem I don't remember where the but these things swing around quite a bit, and now I've discovered that just like people say that that causes you to have some fun with the uh, stock. So. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post them. This is going to take a kid 22, uh, a full kid build, barreled receiver. And it's set up for a 920 uh, barrel, size barrel. The kid barreled receiver will have a kid two-stage uh, trigger group, uh, a uh, lightweight uh, barrel, and um, and a loopholed uh, VX2 scope. Thanks for watching.